Howdy y'all, this is your host Road. welcome back to Love It Games. I'm playing a little bit of Mafia Definitive Edition today, I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We're going to continue on. Plan stays the same. Right. I take care of the crowd. You handle the manager. Threats don't work. Do what you gotta do. Keeps the vault keys on them. See, a teller sounds the alarm. How long do we get? Five minutes. Maybe more. For the cops show. What if it all goes to hell? I'm not fucking around, Tom. You hear gunshots down at the vault? Don't come up. It's the money or nothing at all. You doing this? We're doing it. Stay where we can see your pretty faces. Anybody moves, I'll pop them. Get the manager. I need you all to stay on the ground. I see movement, people start getting shot. How do I get up? We all want everyone to get to go home and hug their kids tonight. Right? No heroes. Not today. No kidding around. You saw contact? <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky that I didn't get it. With me, down to the vault. I'll do whatever you say. No one needs to get hurt. Come on. Keep moving. Everything is insured by the FDIC, anyways. It's making me feel rich, and the little guy gets to walk away if he doesn't do anything stupid. How many guards at the vault? One. You gonna shoot? I don't know. If I see a gun, he gets a bullet. So you tell him to stand down. It's all on you. Ah, nice horse pitcher. Everything okay? Manager here is being good and cooperative. We're all doing what we're told, aren't we, buddy? You won't get away with this. Your sort never do. You just worry about yourself. You want to see your daughter graduate from high school. You, you keep your hands where I'm I can see them you. and tell your guard to do the same. The same photo. Why do you have the same photo, buddy? Remember, when we get to your guard, you tell him to drop his gun. You got that? Listen to me very carefully. I need you to put down your oh, sick shit. voice. <coughs> Shoot him. <coughs> ah! 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 I see it. Oh, ah! 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 there's one more guard. Vault keys on the table. 
No one else has to die. I don't have to die! You don't have to. But you're gonna. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Wake him on it! the money it's time to go he left so much Taking your sweet time. Hop in. Go, go, go! Where? Anywhere, just lose the cops! Sam's club. Hey, it's empty right now. But he don't know, can't hurt him. Hey, -o. It's still almost, Polly. We'll only have done it once my heart stops trying to beat outside my chest. Go. I'll see you tomorrow. Unless I'm halfway to Hawaii. Oh, come on. I'm kidding. Hey, I couldn't have done this without you. I know that. Go home, celebrate with Sarah, come by my place in the morning, we'll split up the dough. Yeah, okay. Good luck. See you around, pal. <laughs> That amount of money, it couldn't have been more than a few hundred thousand within that one little bag. So I'm kind of curious. We're going to continue on. Well, look at this. Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready to call the coroner. Sorry. Had a bit of trouble falling asleep this off. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night.
Okay, what'd you do? We just feel him lucky, is all. Got that right, champ. But I've been thinking. Oh, yeah? I'll call the papers. <laughs> I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? Uh, Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Nothing. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That don't square. What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. You're moving, even when you're standing still. Yeah, you're nervous about something. Probably you don't even know why yet. But well, it must be it. Well, you better figure it out before you get to Polly's, just in case it's him that got you all wound up. <laughs> Polly's all right. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. Shouldn't lie to your wife, man. Explain everything. You still here? Read note. Since 1904, four-year-old Tommy with his family at the Valeri Lemon, Lemon Grove near Port Misana, Tommy's father was the supervisor at the plantation until it was foreclosed on by a moneylender. Evicted from their home and destitute, the Angelos immigrated to America soon after. Man and wife. Tommy and his family arrived in Empire Bay after a month at sea on their Christmas Day, 1904. After an inspection by immigration officials, they traveled to Lost Haven in a crowded train carriage. Tommy's father found employment in Lost Haven Harbor, where he worked until his death 15 years later. Tommy, I don't like that you're not telling you your wife. You're gonna end up packing bags with me. Just warning you. Three of a kind. Bank raid suspects at large. Fox. Shouldn't leave a book out in open air, it'll get messed up. Neighborhood's going to the dogs. So what happened to your dog? Last night. Nah, I've been working nights. Guy in the apartment above me was raising hell again. Oh, you're lucky I can't punch you out. You don't talk about Polly. Polly!
Sam. It's me. It's Tom. Where's Polly? He's, uh... He's dead. I'm looking at him, slumped over in a hallway, torn a fucking skull. Oh, God. I was... I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ. I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta disappear. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, pal. Uh, you want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll uh, see you soon. And, uh... Thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. Bali. I gotta go. I'm sorry. Nothing else up here. Can't hit. All right. Probably should have cleared that with the dawn. Gonna call the cops. Something ain't right. Someone said it could have been gunshots. Plenty of people who have to take their place. If Frank didn't have a <laughs> business, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Shouldn't have seen me come out of the building. Can't have witnesses. Run, old Tommy. bad spot I know Sam but I'm sorry about that but I need to get out of town can you help me or not there you go again making me choose between my friends and the family this is what you were looking for Polly's here's your cut it's more than you deserve Sam you killed him you killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up. And I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. That whore? The girl you were sweet on. You're the one that let her live. I'm sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. Shame, too. 
Don Salieri? Really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal. But you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you would have lived a lot longer if you would have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy. guy went. Somebody had a shark, dude. What is that here? Oh yeah, Maltos. Hey, who's this guy? What'd you have? A oh, pocket revolver. Yeah, I was. You still had respect for the dog. Swallow this down. Pets. Fuck you, Sam. I know you do the same, Tom. Hell. I know this is getting serious, boy. Amazing. Running out of guys yet. Celieri was ripping us off. Shot, Tom. 
But the thing about drug money is it pays for a lot of muscle. Put them down, boys. Running for cover. You didn't get a single shot off. He did. Doctor, this time, see him. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. <laughs> what a dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri, he sent out a crew. And his family? That little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> we sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you. Polly, sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family, too. Wife. Four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. But this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. 
Everyone's gonna eat, right? Even dirty cops. Just being honest here, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not gonna make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Salieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Then that has to be enough. Epilogue time. A long time ago. In another life. Someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel greatest weakness. Maybe he was right. Because everything I've done, both good and bad, I've done for my family. I've turned my back on people they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years totally alone trying to find myself so I could come home. A better husband, a better father, a better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness, but it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. It lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling over. Oh, we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. Yes. Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Got to keep it in the family. All right. Well, that was Mafia Definitive Edition. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Let me know you think of the comment section down below. See what we get ourselves into on the next episode. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Peace.